In this video, we're going to take another look at some of the various methods of organizing your images inside of Bridge. There are basically three methods of assigning some sort of attribute to your images, which you can then select in the filter pane over here to have Bridge only display those images with that attribute. But you'll notice over here in the filter pane that there are already a few attributes built in to Bridge. For example, I know in my under the file type here, my camera raw image says I have 78 camera raw images. If I were to click on this right here, I would now only be viewing those 78 raw images. And I know I have one JPEG file, so by selecting this JPEG here, I'm now viewing only the JPEG files. Same as the Photoshop document here. I have one PSD, and I could choose to show the JPEG and the PSD. And then down here, under orientation, I know I have 44 that are shot in landscape and 36 that were shot in portrait. So I could choose to only show those shot in portrait. And there are a few more. You have your ISO speed ratings and date modified and so on and so on. So let's take a look at the three methods of assigning an attribute that I mentioned earlier. We'll start with the rating. If you notice when you select an image, you'll have these four dots, or five dots rather, at the bottom of it. If they're not visible, it's probably because your thumbnails are too small. So by dragging the thumbnail slider, you can make your thumbnails larger and you can bring up these empty ratings right here. And you'll notice off to the filter pane right here that none of these images have any ratings because the ratings doesn't show up yet under the filters. But if I were to click and add one star, you now see that it automatically added this ratings section here, and I can select just the images with one star. To add more stars, you can drag all the way across to the end and all the way in the opposite direction to get rid of them. But if you really want to speed through your process, you'll hit control and period to assign ratings. So the more I hit control period, the more I've assigned ratings. Control comma, on the other hand, will take them away. And if there are currently no stars and I hit control comma, I will have marked this image for reject. So if there are images that you would like to throw away, you can mark them for reject, display them, or run them through the reject filter here, and then you can just delete these straight from Bridge. So you can get a pretty decent workflow by selecting an image. I'll give this a rating of 1, move the arrow key over, and so on and so on. And now you see here I have more options. I can display only those with two stars, or only those with one, or those that have no rating. And ratings aren't the only attribute that you can assign. You can also assign a label to your images. If you choose Edit and then the Preferences, and then go down to Labels, you'll see that you have these different colored labels. And by pressing 6, 7, 8, or 9, you can assign them to your images. And then for your own benefit, you can give them a name, like black and white. So I know that any label or any image that I have assigned this red label to I will in the future be converting them to black and white. This little checkbox above require the control key. With that checked, that would actually require you to press control and then six. So I like to keep that off. That way I can just highlight some images. And when I press six, I automatically assign that red label. And over here in the filter, that label is automatically available. So I can filter it and just show those that have the red label. To get rid of it, I'm just going to right click, go down to label, and no label. 
and now it'll say I have no items to match with that current filter. As soon as I unclick that filter, it's going to disappear because none of these have the red label. The third method is by assigning a keyword. So to do that, we need to look at the keywords panel here. And we see that there are a few that are built in, events, people, and places. I've actually added this album pages here. So when I'm designing an album or a flush mount type album, I could assign these keywords. So any images that I wanted in page one, I could assign to page one. So for example, if I wanted this one, this one, and this one to be my page one, by clicking in this box here, I've now assigned those the page one keyword. And under filter, you'll see under the keyword section, I now have a page one. And by clicking that, I can view just those that I have assigned to page one. And then I could right click and open them up in Photoshop and then build my album. But that's just one use. You also have, like I said, some built in events, birthday, graduation, wedding, people. But let's look at adding another one. So up here in the top right of this keywords panel, we have the options. By selecting new keyword, we'll call this, say it was some kind of a sitting. And it's probably a good idea to add some sub keywords to that. So with that sitting selected, I'm going to add a sub keyword. We'll say singles. families, and in some cases, possibly even pets. So now if we pretend for a moment that this was a portrait type sitting and say these were my singles, and we'll call these families here. Under the filter, you now under keywords, I've added, I've got the ones, the keywords or the images rather that I've assigned the families keyword to and my singles. And I can see that I still have some in the page one for my album. So real quick, before I leave you, I'll get rid of these keywords by selecting these and then unchecking the box. Then when I go back to filter, you'll see that the page one sort of becomes italicized and I have a zero count here. When I uncheck that, it basically just goes away. So as far as organizing your images inside Bridge, you've got your ratings, you've got your labels, and then you've got keywords.